Deus in adiutorium meum intente. Domine ad adjuvantum me festina. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Alleluia. Behold the golden dawn arise, the paling night forsakes the skies, those shades that hid the world from view, and us to dangerous ever drew. May this new day be calmly past, may we keep pure while it shall last, nor let our lips from truth depart, nor dark designs engage the heart. So may the day speed on the tongue, no falsehood, no the hands, no wrong. Our eyes from wanton gaze refrain, no guilt our guarded bodies stain. For God all-seeing from on high surveys us with a watchful eye. Each day our every act he knows, from early dawn to evening's close. All laud to God the Father be, all praise eternal Son to Thee, all glory as is ever meet to God the Holy Paraclete. Amen. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. On the holy mountain is his city, cherished by the Lord. The Lord prefers the gates of Zion to all Jacob's dwellings. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. Babylon and Egypt I will count Among those who know me Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia These will be her children And Zion shall be called mother For all shall be her children It is he the Lord Most High who gives each his place. In his register of peoples he writes, These are her children, And while they dance they will sing, In you all find their home. Gloria Patria et Filio, Et Spiritui Sancto, Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. The Lord, the mighty conqueror, will come. He will bring with him the prize of victory. Here comes with power the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd he feeds his flock, in his arms he gathers the lambs carrying them in his bosom and leading the ewes with care. Who has cupped in his hand the waters of the sea and marked off the heavens with a span? Who has held in a measure the dust of the earth, weighed the mountains in scales and the hills in a balance? Who has directed the Spirit of the Lord or has instructed him as his counselor? Whom did he consult to gain knowledge? Who taught him the path of judgment? 
or showed him the way of understanding. Behold, the nations count as a drop of the bucket, as a rust on the scales. The coastlands weigh no more than powder. Lebanon would not suffice for fuel, nor its animals be enough for all the costs. Before him all the nations are as naught, as nothing and void he accounts them. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. The Lord, the mighty conqueror, will come. He will bring with him the prize of victory. Give praise to the Lord our God. Bow down before his holy mountain. The Lord is king, the peoples tremble. He is throned on the cherubim, the earth quakes. The Lord is great in Zion. He is supreme over all the peoples. Let them praise his name so terrible and great. He is holy, full of power. You are a king who loves what is right. You have established equity, justice, and right. You have established them in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before Zion, his footstool. He the Lord is holy. Among his priests were Aaron and Moses. Among those who invoked his name was Samuel. They invoked the Lord and he answered. To them he spoke in the pillar of cloud. They did his will, they kept the law which he the Lord had given. Our Lord, our God, you answered them. For them you were a God who forgives, yet you punished all their offenses. Exalt the Lord our God, bow down before his holy mountain, for the Lord our God is holy. Gloria Patria et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Give praise to the Lord our God. Bow down before his holy mountain. As generous distributors of God's manifold grace, put your gifts at the service of one another, each in the measure he has received. The one who speaks is to deliver God's message. The one who serves is to do it with the strength provided by God. Thus in all of you, God is to be glorified through Jesus Christ. From the depths of my heart I cry to you, hear me, O Lord. From the depths of my heart I cry to you, hear me, O Lord. I will do what you desire, hear me, O Lord. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. From the depths of my heart I cry to you, hear me, O Lord. Let us serve the Lord in holiness, and he will save us from our enemies. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, 
born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Let us serve the Lord in holiness, and he will save us from our enemies. Let us joyfully cry out in thanks to God the Father, whose love guides and nourishes his people, Most merciful Father, we praise you for your love, for you wondrously created us and even more wondrously restored us to grace. At the beginning of this day, fill our hearts with zeal for serving you, so that our thoughts and actions may redound to your glory. Purify our hearts of every evil desire. Make us intent on doing your will. Open our hearts to the needs of all men. Fill us with brotherly love. May you be glorified, O Lord, for all ages. Pater noster qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua sicut in celo et in terra, panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis hodie, Et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed liberos amalo. All powerful and ever living God, shine with the light of your radiance on a people who live in the shadow of death. Let the dawn from on high break upon us. Your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Dominus nos benedicat, et ab malo defendat, et ad vitam perducat eternam. Amen. Ora pro nobis sancta Dei genitrix, Ut in ifici amor promissioni bus Christi. Thank you for joining us in prayer. This episode was brought to you by Word on Fire. The Word on Fire Liturgy of the Hours makes praying simple and straightforward. With monthly booklets shipped right to your door that include the full morning, evening, and night prayers for each day, Word on Fire has removed the complications of praying the hours. No more page flipping or getting distracted while praying with your phone. Just pick up your monthly booklet and pray in peace. Subscribe today and get your first monthly booklet free when you join the Word on Fire 30-Day Prayer Challenge. Get your Word on Fire Liturgy of the Hours book at wordonfire.org slash singthehours.